Aaron Dykes for InfoWars.com. These are such exciting times. It's the best of times. It's the worst of times, as that Dickens novel cites. Now, we've seen everything the Obama administration are doing to demonize and illegalize guns. We know there are mayors against illegal guns, but the Founding Fathers put many checks and balances in place to try to keep tyranny from taking over our nation, and one of those is the county sheriffs. The other, of course, is the Second Amendment, the individual's opportunity to try to stay off tyranny and we're about to be joined by uh, Sheriff Richard Mack. He's going to join us in studio for the nightly news. We're going to talk to him behind the scenes as well. This is what he's been talking about all along about that buffer zone of the independent sheriffs at the county level standing up and saying no to federal intrusion. He sued at the Supreme Court level and won his case during the Clinton years against the Brady Center and everyone else trying to impose federal jurisdiction over the counties on gun matters. He said no and won, and he's been teaching others how to do it too. And now it's all happening. Sheriffs are standing up all across the nation, uh, dozens of them saying they will not comply with unconstitutional gun laws. They won't implement them. And that's the exact message we need to send to the feds to try to keep tyranny from taking over this country. Now we're here with Sheriff Mack, and we're pouring over dozens of documents. There's been so many sheriffs uh, popping up in the last few weeks as Obama and his cronies, his cabinet members, have announced their intent to destroy the Second Amendment. And this has all started in so many ways with Sheriff Mack. He filed, uh, took it all the way to the Supreme Court under the Clinton days, fighting that federal tyranny, trying to impose on the counties, trying to impose on the Second Amendment. And it's just the type of standing up we need to see. Uh, can you talk about this whole movement, Sheriff, the yeah, things you've seen? I mean, when I sued Clinton, it was on the Brady Bill, which was a uh, gun control law. Right. And uh, so we were trying to stop it then. We're trying to stop it now. I'm telling you, Aaron, it is so gratifying to see these sheriffs across the country do their job, keep their oath, stand for freedom, and interpose themselves on behalf of the American people. Exactly what Madison said we should be doing at the local level. Exactly what Jefferson said we should be doing at the local level. Exactly what all my books and DVDs all say that we should be doing. All the years that we've been talking about this, it's now happening because this tyrant, this communist in the White House has been so abusive and so destructive to the American dream and to the American Constitution. This man that's in there now fighting against the, the liberties that uh, many of us have uh, relatives who have fought and died in world wars to stop. This man thinks that with the stroke of his pen, he can just tell us, you can't have your guns anymore. You can't have high capacity guns. You can't have high capacity magazines. We are from the government. We will tell you what you can and cannot do, that, you, that your, your Second Amendment rights that are guaranteed in the Constitution, that this man with a stroke of the pen can destroy every bit of that. And now we have sheriffs all across the line. I really like what you guys put out, the sheriff line tape to stop all that. Mm -hmm. This is the line and the sheriffs are drawing it. Sheriff McGee from Mississippi just called me this morning. He says, we're with uh, the sheriffs that are doing this all the way. He says, I'm doing a letter, I'll get it out to you. The reason I bring up Sheriff McGee because he is the only one of the seven that sued with me on the Clint against Clinton on the Brady Bill, he is the only one that's still a sheriff. And so uh, that's Sheriff McGee in, in Mississippi. He's a good man, but we're seeing sheriffs from all over the country raise up. Georgia's coming on board. North Carolina's got sheriffs doing it. Minnesota, Wisconsin, a California. Whole mess in Oregon, right? Yeah, and uh, probably the biggest group is Oregon right mm -hmm. now. But we even have sheriffs in California doing this Why and not? what are you other sheriffs waiting for we're still waiting to hear from utah we're still waiting to hear some of you from arizona come on let's get on board freedom is what we're all about here and that's all we're getting from the sheriffs now good job sheriffs and I just want to say, this is what the whole Oath Keepers movement has been about, not just the Second Amendment, but that's one of the most important oh, yeah. areas. Now, we've had police chiefs step up with their Second Amendment protection. Mark Kessler, chief we've, of police. Oh, yeah, yeah. state legislatures. But yeah. tell us in a nutshell why the county sheriff is the most important buffer against this federal tyranny. Well, the one thing about the sheriff is he's the only one that answers to we the people. 
Now we love it that chiefs of police are coming on board because they took the same oath. Just like you said, it's it's an oath keeper thing. Mm -hmm. Are you as sheriffs and how about deputies and chiefs of police or uh, just a patrol officer? Are you going to say to your sergeant, I'm not gonna participate with this either. We wanna hear from all of you. But a sheriff is the only one that reports directly to we the people. Mm. You know, and th like the chief reports to a city councilman or, or the city manager. The sheriff is by, for, and of the people. And that's why uh, it's a constitutional republic. He knows it. He has to keep his oath. He has to serve his people. He has to stand against the Barack Obama tyranny. We appreciate you fighting all these years, Sheriff Mack. We're going to get in there and do the interview and just get the word out about this issue. It's the best, last hope we have to stop this tyranny from taking over. I want to thank country. Alex for all the work he's doing, and, and his people have been getting a hold of us. And thank you so much for all that you've been doing for us. And I want to thank all the guys behind the scene, John Bound, all the crew here, Marcos and Darren, helping us get the show together, even when Alex is out of town and we've got a skeleton crew. We can do it, folks. Let's fight the info war. That's Signing right. off.